Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Let's Talk About It. My guest today is Arthur Ramos Lewis. Ramos, welcome to the show, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Good to be here. Thank you. And I'm glad you're here, man. You know, now I've heard about the book before I bumped into you the other day. But I hadn't gotten a chance to actually see the book and this, that, and the other, but so I'm glad I did. Um, and this book is entitled, That's Life. Yes. Ramos, yes. you want to tell me a little bit about the book and, and how you got started with writing? Well, That's Life, it has um, everything to do with like real life issues and um, I'm a movie buff and I've watched okay. so many different movies and I've always sat and said, oh, how did this movie make it to the big screen? So I just sat and said, I can think of something better than that. Mm -hmm. And one day I just happened to sit down and write a lot of stuff that happens in life and, and, and wrote it all on, on paper and um, I was able to put it down um, in a book in form. A book form. And the funny thing is, uh, I'm not a writer. I okay. didn't think I was a writer. Right. Uh, uh, I'm a barber. And um, I was cutting this guy's hair. He's a professor at Prairie View. Uh -huh. And I asked him if he knew any ghost writers to where if I told him the story, would he be able to write it for me? Mm -hmm. And he told me he knew a lot. He says, but the only way you're going to get the perfect book if is if you do it yourself, the feel of you doing it yourself. Mm -hmm. and, um, and when I did it, I think God just entered me and just wrote the book for me. Wow. Yes. And um, it has everything to do with drunk driving, being killed by drunk drivers, which that's life. Mm -hmm. um, alcoholism. That's life. Child abuse. Yeah. Date rape. Gangs, wow. drugs, so everything is in this book, uh, and it's life. Right. So uh, the perfect title is "That's Life." That's life. Yes. So basically, what you did in the the confines of the book, you actually put content from what actually happens in everyday every life. Day life. And God has showed me <clears throat> everything perfectly. That's why I knew He's the one that helped me write this book. Because, like I said, I, I never went to college uh -huh. or anything like that to even know how to write. Okay. And when he showed me everything, he told me exactly where to put it, and I felt like wow. God just helped me really just, he's the author of this book. Yeah. And I'm the co-author. And you're the co-author. Yeah. You know what, it's really interesting because a lot of times we don't think that we have the skill to create certain things. We always say, oh, I don't think I can do this, or I can't do that because I don't have this, right. or I don't have that. But when God places something in your heart and in your spirit, you can do anything. All things through God. All things, th all things through God. And so often, and I, I can understand you because for myself, I never considered myself a writer either. Uh, and I've actually written two stage plays that have yet to hit the stage. I don't know. You know, uh, but I didn't consider myself a writer. But I had a story in my head. There you go. That's you know, what yeah. yeah. So I can relate to you, and right. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Now I want to talk also. I noticed that you're in a wheelchair here. Yes, yes. Um, been in it about two and a half, almost three years. Um, I, uh, I used to work part-time at the airport, mm -hmm. and um, I caught tuberculosis and meningitis. What it was is called TB meningitis. Okay. And I caught tuberculosis in the brain, and it caused meningitis down my spine. And um, I got over that, but the meningitis caused scar tissue in your spine okay. to where I have a fluid buildup. Yeah. So I've had three surgeries on my back to release the fluid, and it's uh, putting pressure on my nerves to where I'm in a wheelchair now. But, okay. You know, um, the doctors told me I had like less than 50% chance of living from that. Okay. But, uh, you know, you don't really go by what man say, you go by what God say. Absolutely. And I'm um, still here, so. Yeah. You know. And you know, and that, you know what's really interesting about that is that I've heard stories where people say the doctors said, Yes. Or the doctor said I wouldn't make it, or I had a 1% chance, or a 10% chance. But man can't tell us there you go. <laughs> that we can make it. Only God can determine God. that. Yes, yes. You know, yeah. um, and so I, I, it's really a, a blessing that you have uh, the right spiritual foundation uh, okay. that has prepared you for the position that you're in. I just feel that um, God is using me as a testimony. Yeah. So um, if I'm in the chair... I'm going to do it from here. Mm -hmm. But I, I just have faith that, you know, I will be up again. I'm going to walk. And, and 
I uh, just trust in God. But if I'm still in this chair, I'm going to do it from here. There you go. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. So that's what gives you strength to continue to go on, yes. go, go forward and move forward in yes. your day-to-day -day life. That, family, and, and, and friends. Mm -hmm. yes. And you, from what I understand, you know, we know one another. Yes. But uh, in the process of knowing Ramos, I always hear good things. Really? And man, everybody, everybody, everybody always says he is such a good guy. I've heard that like a million times, man, about you. Well, um, I, I say I got that from my mother. Okay. And uh, my mother, I'm, I'm half black and half Japanese, and my mother's mm -hmm. Japanese, and she came from Japan. My, my dad married her, brought her here, and she raised three boys. Okay. And, and um, she was so lovable. She's one of those TV moms that, that everybody loved. Uh -huh. And um, so I said, well, if everybody loved my mother, because she's so nice and giving and caring, mm -hmm. I just portrayed and, and learned from her, and I tried to be like my mother. So. Right. <laughs> and she, you know, she was lovable. That is well. You know, and parents have a great influence on us. Oh, yes, all, mm -hmm. all the time. And, and that's why this world is how it is now, because some parents are not around, and those are the ones that are out there doing bad, and then the ones that are around. And so parents do have a influence, good or bad, you know. Right. And then it's that's the funny thing. This is when she did pass away in two thousand and one. Mm -hmm. That's when I picked up this and started writing. Is that and right? I dedicated it to her. To your mom. Yes. Wow, that is fantastic. Uh, tell me this now. You have Japanese roots. Have you ever gone to Japan and ever ever? No, I've, I've always culture? wanted to. And then when I started working part time at the airport, mm -hmm. that's when I told my mother, um, you know, I, I want to go and we're going to take a trip to Japan. And, right. Um, so I can meet my, my family on that side. Mm -hmm. And then that's when, you know, she passed away. So Is that right? So I never got a chance to go. And uh, I kind of hated that because, yeah. you know, I have a whole side, a whole other side of you know, family, family. Right. you know, in Japan that I never got a chance to meet. Yeah. Well, who knows? Someday you might get a chance to meet yeah, them. Yeah, who knows? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What, what's next for you? Now, I know you wanted, uh, one of your goals with um, That's Life is to actually turn this into a movie. Yes. Um, because when I first wrote the book and got it <coughs> published, that's when I went in for my first surgery. Okay. And um, never got a chance to really push it like I wanted to. But when I got out, I started selling it, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in the barbershop that, where I work and in and, and places that I, I go to. And people would come back to me and say, Ramos, this book is so good. It's like a, a movie. And that's what gave me the confidence to say, okay, well... It is that good. You know, I knew it was good because God helped me write it. Absolutely. But when people, so many people come back and give you all the, you know, compliments on it, mm -hmm. it makes you think and wonder, okay. So I uh, started doing research and trying to find out what can I do. Uh, right. And I met different people and I, and I, they helped me write, you know, uh, write a script. And, okay. And I got it in script form. And now God is leading me towards people uh, to actually get it off the ground and really get it going mm -hmm. and one of the people is uh charnel brown which everybody knows as kimberly reese on different world right and uh she's going to be one of the producers and she's going to play the mother one of the mother of the character and she's just helping us she is such an angel yeah she so is. god she's you know sweetheart. when god like i say helps you he's going to send angels there your you way. go when they give you a vision he'll make the provision right yeah, and and that's that's what our our, our goal is 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 turning into a movie, and, and she helped me get all the right steps. Yes. Fantastic, man! Now, you guys know that one of the purposes of this show, let's talk about it, is to inspire, motivate, and educate people. Yeah. This story about Mr. Ramos Lewis today is definitely one of those stories. Uh, you guys can be inspired by this man uh, who is sitting here in a wheelchair, who has written a book and is moving forward with his life. It has not stopped him. God is continuing to bless his life. And I know you guys got to be motivated and inspired by the story that he yes. shared with you guys here today. Ramos, thank you so much for coming on. Let's talk about it. I appreciate uh, one you. More, absolutely, man. And one more time, where they can find the book and also your website. Um, the website is That's Life, and it's T-H-A-T-Z-L-I-F-E dot com. And it has, you can order the book from there, too. But you can get it from barnesandnoble.com and amazon.com. And also, the reason that um, I do want to do a movie 
here in Houston is because we're the fourth largest city in, uh, in right. America. And everything is done in New York, California, and Atlanta. And I feel like Houston alone has some of the best athletes, models, actors, photographers. <laughs> and um, and I just want to put Houston back on the map, you know. And um, the last really good movie we had was Jason's Lyric. And that was what? How many years ago was that? Ooh. That was a long, a long time ago. Time ago. <laughs> so uh, we've had a little other little low budget movies, but we have so much talent here in Houston. So uh, I want to do a movie here in Houston, and 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 I'm willing to give Houston actors um, and a, a chance to to be in this movie and put Houston back on the map. All right, fantastic. All right, man, thank you so much for coming on this segment. Man, Let's talk you. about it, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I see you. Right. Yeah, it's nice, nice to see you as well, because we're right, about you. to wrap up. Uh, but I want you guys to, once again, see this book by Mr. Ramos Lewis. This is a great read, and you might want to pick it up. You can get more information about the book. Yeah, um, you can get the book um, uh, at barnesandnoble.com or amazon.com, or you can go to my, my website. It's That's Life with a Z, T-H-A-T-Z, L-I-F-E dot com. And um, I'm going to present this book to you. All right. So you have your own copy. Okay, okay. And signed and everything. For Man, you. thank you so much. You're welcome. I got my own personal copy of That's Life, and you guys want to get it too. Now, for more information on the show, you can reach us at Let's Talk About It 12 TV at gmail.com. That's Let's Talk About It 12 TV at gmail.com. Until next time, we'll see you then.